all right good morning and i should say good afternoon good evening afternoon it's after 12 and uh on my way to go pick up my daughter from school and i gotta go pick up ethan so i've been observing my targeting over the past weekend there's a video i got i have to upload and uh, I haven't uploaded it yet because, again, I wanted to see what the perps are going to do, right? And <laughs> one of the things that, again, like I said, they'll always try, and they do this from time to time, <clears throat> okay? Is that all of a sudden they'll do less overt targeting. Uh, become more covered targeted for instance as i walk to the corner you see the guy across the street as he sees me he walks over to the side over here all right now let's talk about how they use symbolism in clothing all right one of the things that they love to do is shake their keys See, this is the reason why he walks to the uh, front uh, towards the street was because he has his keys on his uh, belt loop, All right? And this is one of the things that they love to do as a TI. You know, if they're, if they're some of the things that, one of the things actually. So when they walk past you, they'll either shake their keys or if they have change in their pocket, they will shake the change in their pocket. Right, and so, and I'm gonna tell you the significance of those things. The shaking. If you ever been to a courtroom setting or to a courtroom, you will see start when the when the uh, guards, not the guards, but the uh, court officers, whenever they walk by, right, they will shake the keys. And the it is not just with me. But like I said, I've been in. in, in in the court building and whenever these court officers walk by they will shake the keys again a lot of us are being conditioned you know different ways right and then and uh, <laughs> so anyway person speaking loud behind me as I walk past he came out the bell and talking about oh I saw one of your your photos or videos and I was scarred for life right all loud okay anyway as I was saying so and there's a reason also why they use police in your targeting right is to insinuate or intimidate I wouldn't say intimidate, but I would say insinuate, but I would say intimidate you, the target individual, from speaking out about what it is that they're doing, right? See, the implication is that they'll try to criminalize you, and then try to say you're a criminal, and you're a threat. All right. I remember. These people, and as you come out the car, she's shaking the keys. I hope you guys hear that. I hope you guys hear the, um, her shaking her keys. Okay, so yeah, anyway. So this is what they try to do. Now remember, they have to, they have to villainize you, right? All right, let me show you how propaganda works. In order for them to get people to do what they do to you in ISTIs, and to get them comfortable, and to make them feel that you know, they will not be held accountable if anything happened to you or uh, what is happening to you as a TI is because of the villainization process they've done to you. The propaganda, the frameups, the setups, you know, the lies, the false witnesses, uh, the false accusers, what have you. And remember, they're being paid in one form or another, right? Whether through uh, various ways 
you know, being that, you know, they may get money on a Visa card, they may get a lower mortgage rate on their house when they refinance, right? If they have kids, their kids may get full scholarships to attend college. So there's a way, there's various ways that they, they do payments to these perps without handing them over a check. Because you see, in the other forms I was talking about, that money is not traceable, right? That money is not traceable. So again, whenever people do things, or law enforcement do things like this and hide it, you know they're engaging in criminal and illegal activities. You know, today I was reading an article about uh, in Maine, where you have police officers who was basically growing and selling marijuana. Okay? So, again, I always say that, you know, when you look at these, law enforcement is a criminal organization, you have to understand that. And those who say that it's not, you know, need to look twice and think deeply, logically, and better. Okay? And there's plenty of evidence to show that law enforcement is a criminal organization and how it destroys the lives, particularly of black people, in, uh, you know, a lot of the shit that they do. Okay? Without a doubt. Alright, let me get off my bus. Alright. So look, I see the guy in the wheelchair and the guy in the army fatigue. Oh, he stick his finger in his ear. So basically, <laughs> I guess what they're trying to do is try and take away not just my disability, but other people disability who have the same physical illness is me <clears throat> it was the same thing as I was on the bus there was a guy you know he, he had pain he only had one leg one of his leg was cut off and uh, this is again like I said what they try to do they try to send some little message about uh, you know taking away my disability well because why because I continue to expose them for what it is that they do. So anyway, let's get back to what I was saying um, about the whole issue, the whole thing with the keys, you know, on their on their belt loop or their pants, not the belt loop, but on their pants loop. Right. So that's one uh, aspect of how they target you. Now, another one is the. Um, You know, I have I had both points, but I forgot one of them. Uh, let me see. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay. So yeah. So like I said, so the court officers are use the TI. What they'll do is that they'll try they'll try to set you up, or try to have somebody make a false accusation accusation against you, right? You might get arrested. Some of us, not all. It doesn't happen in all cases. Then you know they'll do this, this uh, what is called judicial abuse, right? And hey, he's sticking his tongue out. Yeah, I know what, 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 what. You feel proud, bro? You feel proud, jackass? <laughs> I should tell you how, 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 how evil and like I said, that bunch of asses and dumbasses, a bunch of sheeps, right? You know, remember, all of this is an attempt to silence us as TIs. You know, so for me talking, uh, therefore, you know, my eldest son, you know, I want me to talk to him. I call him, he'll call me back. I text him, he'll text me back. Basically, trying to use people in your life, including your children, if you're a TI, as a means to shut you up, right? As a means to silence you, okay? And, you know, this is for anybody who speaks truth, right? And particularly when you're speaking truth to power, 
man, they will do some awful stuff to you, right? Because again, you know, when you're taught lies as truth, you know, and you finally um, learn the truth, and when you're sharing the truth, you start to see how the, the, the built-in um, programming, right, deep within the subconscious, come out of, you know, the people around you, okay? So, uh, anyway, as I was saying, so yeah. So, th these are the things that they'll do. And this is why, you know, when a lot of brothers, particularly black men and women, enter into the prison system and they come out, they're never psychologically the same, right? And it's not just from being confined and stuff like that, but they run these programs with also within the, uh, within the, the penal system, okay? And, uh, you know, and that, would, that was some of the first places that these programs, these psychological programs uh, started, right? Because they had to test it out somewhere. So you see there in the mental institutions, either in the penal system, either uh, in uh, confined laboratories, right? And then they have to make, take it to the outside world, right? To the real world, to, I shouldn't say the real world, but to the world, to society. Right, to show that they can do this within the society also, with the people within the society. You know what I'm saying? So it is nothing, like I said, that hasn't that, we, that hasn't been done before. You know, we're just living in modern times and experiencing things that happened to people, you know, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, with the MK Ultra program and all the other sub programs that were uh, under it. Right? Anyway, um, then the use of the police as a means to, of intimidation to try to threaten you with arrest again if you speak up and speak out you know to try to keep you in check um you know if you're if you're an activist and they do political activists and they're doing this to you look, look see what the guy's watch and look at her she walks over there pinching her um her, <laughs> her coat anyway uh why because the police is across the street Right. These are the the, the traffic uh, cops. Right. The traffic unit. Right. So anyway. Uh, right. So as I say, so you know, this is one of the reason why. Um, that's one of the reasons why. But this is, I, I would say trying to silence you and trying to keep this thing on the wraps and getting people to participate, they're the traffic. That's why they start that. They should stick her feet out. That's the traffic cop that's why she sticks her feet out. Right? And again, and the reason why they're doing this is because, you know, she has some black boots. And they're like, well, if you're going to keep talking what you're going to be talking, then, you know, the, the color black is used and the reason why the color black is used early on in my target and like I said uh, they were using this person okay and trying to insinuate that my eldest son was my son but of course it took a DNA test right so you know like I said if if, if they have the power to manipulate the well they do have the power to manipulate doing DNA tests because we've seen it you know in Boston where thousands of, of cases were had to be uh, thrown out because you know a lab technician, right, working with the DA, you know, even though even though even with the cops, even though they were like, well, we, they had no idea, but trust me, they 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 work together, okay. And like I said, they are throw these low-level white supremacists, and it doesn't matter if they have black skin or you know tan skin or light skin or what have you. They're still white supremacists because of their condition, right? Because they're brainwashing. So, uh, I got off the bus, he's standing there talking about every time. 
Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know every time. Well, every time I come over here, you ain't going to talk to me? Yeah, I know that. Every time I leave here, go in my house, you guys going to talk to me? Yeah, I know that. So you sending people out there standing up saying that shit, it, you know. Don't think I don't know what you're trying to do. And not to the TIs, but the, the orchestrator of these programs. And those that participated in targeting me. And you, as a TI. And you as TIs. Right? So, you know, that's why I don't pay these things any mind. Because, you know, the narcissist in these people, the psychopath, you know, they love to. torture you because they get pleasure off of it right but you remember in the MK Ultra program there was a slew of sub programs underneath that heading right so again you got to think in multiple aspects of you know when it comes to your targeting one, cover-ups, to cover up the fact that you've been illegally implanted, right? Two, cover up again of the coercive persuasion psychological program being run, to, which is to discredit you, right? Three, the setups and psychological manipulation, the drugging, all to change your personality okay for the use of women men the weaponization of yourself of the people around you okay the manipulation that they've done to you the psychological manipulation as well as the biological sexual chemical manipulation because understand that these te these weapons these technologies they do change your dna they do affect your human biology okay they do damage your internal organs right you hear the sirens i know whenever i'm speaking facts and truth you don't like that shit so yeah Okay, come. All right, thank you. Uh, yep. Another perp. Alright, well, I'll continue this discussion uh, in another video.